I wanna drive on the bike with the steering wheel. <laughs> hey guys, too fanatical here. In this video, I'm gonna try a steering wheel with GTA 5. I'm probably gonna make separate videos on how to actually set this up on PC, and then uh, I will also make a separate video with another steering wheel. There's actually two steering wheels that I have. That's Logitech. A G920 compatible with Xbox and PC and then down here we have actually a proper Fanatec setup and then the next video I'm gonna probably use that steering wheel to kind of compare because that's much much more expensive steering wheel with the shifter and the handbrake which you actually don't see it's behind the chair down there now that setup Logitech one that has pedals steering wheel and the shifter it has no handbrake uh, and we'll see does it actually make any difference in GTA 5 using the cheap steering wheel or the expensive one I'm gonna be playing on PC for the Logitech steering wheel I'm gonna actually try to mount this um, let me kind of shift this hey guys we have shifted the camera so this is more of a blog now right so the idea we take that steering wheel down there and we're gonna mount it over here i, I didn't know of any other way how i can show you this best uh, so i kind of removed the camera from there uh, as far as i remember i have to download like a logitech software as well we'll download that we'll download the mods and then we're gonna go on gta Okay, time to mount the steering wheel. Okay, I believe it's all set up. Right, so there's loads of cables, but we're not gonna worry about that. Now I'm gonna download the Logitech software. So make sure everything's updated, everything's working. I'm gonna switch scenes for you guys to see easier. Okay, that's where we are now. Uh, Logitech G Hub software uh, for Windows 10. I hope it works with Windows 11, because I have Windows 11. Right, so we are in gta5mods.com, we have manual transmission steering wheel support, we need to download that. Hey right, guys, we're gonna quickly spin the wheel uh, before I throw any uh, mods in GTA folder, because I don't want to get banned online. Then I can easily mod GTA and I'll probably reinstall the game after I'm done. Seven and a half thousand RP, yay, rank up, two, six, three. Right, so what are the other requirements that you need? So basically, obviously you need GTA 5 game, then you need script hook, and if you want to have dash hook, that's actually optional. Dash hook basically gives you all this. Um, speed, RPM boost, engine light, ABS light, petrol light, like it's just a mod to make it a little bit more immersive. I'm not gonna bother with that. We do have Grand Theft Auto installed via Steam. I'm gonna download script hook as well. Right, so we have two zip files. We'll have to open both. Both have been extracted. Now I'm gonna go onto Steam, find my GTA 5 install folder. Right, so let's see what happens. I think everything's ready. Steering wheel has been set up. Set right, now we're gonna go down in menu to controls, wheels and pedals. Yes, it has picking it up. Logitech G920. Uh, H pattern shifter setup, shift into reverse, press right to skip gear. Now first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. Uh, press right to skip, we don't have seven gears, we'll skip, we don't have eight, nine, ten, okay. Okay, we can still use the keyboard, if I press the gas pedal, okay, it's doing nothing. So we clearly still have to set something up. Right guys, so I had some troubleshooting to do. For some reason, the Logitech app did not work. I had to uninstall, even though it was completely up to date. So I installed it back up. As you can see, the gas works, the brakes work, the clutch works, the steering wheel works as well. So now I'm gonna go back into GTA. Wheels and pedals, analog input setup, configure throttle. So now we're gonna press the gas pedal. All right, that's done. Now brakes, done. Clutch, 
done. Configure steering. Steer right to register axis. Right. Steering right. Okay, now let's see what happens. We can change the view to this view. Okay, actually it looks pretty decent. Oh, okay, so we did actually pick up clutch. Second gear. Oh, I actually felt, felt the pothole as well. Let's go. Oh man. Oh, brakes, brakes, brakes. I like that you actually have a speedometer as well. It registers the speed in kilometers an hour. Now what do we need to increase game volume? I can't hear anything. Ooh. Full gas. Okay, it's fine. Fourth gear. Oh man. Oh, it's a bit hot. Oh. <laughs> um, two stars. Why? Oh, we are not online. So we'll pause this. There's some adjustments I need to make. Okay, guys, I think we're good. I rearranged my room a little bit. So you have like a better angle at the steering wheel. actual feedback from the potholes as well and the car just cut out again Start you piece i know why the car keeps cutting out now let's change the camera a little bit i think there's still some adjusting that we need to do right so you can actually change kilometer um speedometer to kilometers or miles oh you can uh set dashboard indicator zone Engine stalling. Oh, we're gonna remove that because that's annoying. That's why it was like stalling. And then disable manual transmission. Ooh. Ooh. You definitely felt that. <laughs> on the steering wheel right i kind of want to set this up so i can use the pedal shifts but how do i do that all right guys so if you want to set up this to pedal shifts right here the app behind steering wheel let me actually zoom in what i mean right these babies get the angle correctly so if you want shift with these right there's two of them then this is what you have to do basically open up the menu Make sure it's set to sequential. You go down to controls, wheels and pedals, button input setup. And here you can assign basically shift up. So it's set to, uh, right, I'm kind of finger pointing right now. Let me zoom in. So basically, I'm, as you can see, this is set to button four, which is this one here. And then we am go shift down. That's button five, so it's the other other pedal shift. So that's that's how you can get pedal shifts to work. If you want the car to be fully automatic, then all you have to do is basically change this to automatic. And if you want actual shifter, you have to choose H pattern and also then go to controls, wheels, pedals, and then H pattern shifter setup. So that is all up to you. As, as for now, I'm gonna keep it sequential because I kind of like that input delay seems to be okay as well not bad at all so the updates that they have done have actually clearly helped because i don't remember it being this good a few years ago it's not perfect but it's way better than they used to be and i okay this this car is trashed we need a fresh car can't do any testing if the car's like all smashed up like that. No, this looks nice. Pick this. Ok, 
and let's take this guy's bike. I wanna drive on the bike with the steering wheel. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting to shift. Oh, it's actually doable. It's not too bad either. Ooh, too close. Woo. Oh man, I've never tried a motorbike with the steering wheel. Now, now it makes me wonder what else I could try with the... Oh, we can go try a helicopter with the steering wheel. Oh man, no helicopter available. Right, um, oh okay, we can actually go to the airport. We might fetch a helicopter down there. We're airborne and moving in, over. Oh no, what? Three stars? Where's the helicopters? I need a helicopter. Ooh, a plane. A plane will do too. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Man, I have no weapons, nothing. Okay. Oh no, it's not controlling the plane like I expected to. I'm gonna run away, then we're gonna um, test this whole thing out. Now I'm playing on the keyboard. Oh, he's saying good that this plane won't last long enough. Right, let's try steering wheel. Can I steer it? Gas brakes? No. Manual transmission input steering wheel. Wait. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, that does not sound good. So it does say I'm using the steering wheel, but as you can see, nothing's happening. Dang, the engine died. Alright. Can I land this without. Ooh, no, no, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Where can I get the helicopter? Police station roof, maybe? Change the view to first person. I haven't played like a GTA story for so long. I want to check out like how uh, how the casino looks like. Right, let's let's go up. Oh my! Oh oh! What? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, that's not the casino I know. Okay, no helicopter here either. Right, any other place? I'm gonna look up some cheat code for a helicopter. Okay, I think I found it. Buzz off. Ooh, let's go. So. Um, why is it in first person? Okay, I'm gonna get out. For some reason it's instantly in first person. And once again. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. Ooh, how does the websites... Ooh, this is some old phone. What's in the websites? Oh man, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, legendary. Here we go. And it looks still the old way. Some cars, Warstock. What's on Warstock? Tank, Buzzard. It's just ooh, it's just these seven vehicles. Not much at all. South and San Andreas. Yeah. Imagine how limited is the story. Can't compare to online. Ooh, another thing we haven't tried. Um, jet, jet ski. Jet ski work with the steering wheel. It's kind of like a motorbike, right? Oh, 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 ooh. So lucky. Yeah, there's jet skis.
Oh yeah. What the hell? Why do I see my own hair? I think maybe I've messed up something with uh, with the look. Always enable. What's this? Oh no no. I still see his hair. Why am I suddenly locked in first person like this? Um, I think on the website there was a mod actually that kind of helps with this. It said something about hiding uh, the player's head. But yeah, jet ski is like a motorbike. And there's four speed back as well. Ooh, some swimmers. Ooh, run one over, one star. Oh, you can set the wheel actually to wheel rotation 900. I think that's that's what it should be too. All right, now I'm gonna go check the car again. Can I change the view in the car? Maybe it's like specific vehicles like jet skis and helicopters that can't have like third person. Oh wow, that was a long drive. I got pretty far. <laughs> Don't mind me guys. Okay. Well, in cars, you can go to third person. Yo, what's up, man? Ooh, this car's mad fast. Oof. Oh! Alright. So, final thoughts, sort of. <laughs> Right, the setup was actually pretty easy. You just download some stuff, throw out those things in the folder. I had slight issues with the software where I had to uninstall and install it because I haven't used it for like, I know a couple of years, I think by now. Overall, it's pretty fun. Obviously this game is not built for that, but performance and the feel is quite nice. If I would not have a steering wheel, would I buy a steering wheel just to play some GTA? No, no really. Um, but yeah, it was kind of fun test. I'm slightly disappointed you can't fly a helicopter in the plane with the steering wheel. So the next thing I'm gonna try is that same GTA, but with a different setup. So that'll be in the next video, but we'll connect that PC down there to that TV. And then we're gonna use... All right, the camera is getting away from me a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna try that with the steering wheel, Fanatec pedals, Fanatec steering wheel, gear shift, and you can just kind of slightly see I have a handbrake as well and like the whole um, cockpit kind of simulator. So that'll be in the next video. Guys, if you could please drop a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate. I'm kind of trying to grow the channel. All right, that looks decent enough, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, guys, so please drop a like. Subscribe if you're new and uh, let me know in comments what you think about this setup or maybe let me know what, what else would you like me to kind of test in GTA or maybe some other game. Yeah, right. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye.